this is Stephen Platinum, your friend in wrestling with Platinum versus NXT in your house 2021. Um, I usually hate to use this word, but it certainly fits. And this pay-per-view was fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, you had your nostalgia bits. You had things of great consequence that appeared to get set up with the um, Regal implying that he's going to step down because he can't keep control. Um, the main event ended up being much better than I thought it was going to be, if I'm being awesome, um, with a really, really, really cool finish, uh, in my opinion. So let's just jump right into it. I won't, people seem to love these kind of quick, fast, and dirty ones that I do. Um, so we're at the Capitol Wrestling Center. We go over the tonight's lineup. We see the white limo. We see the briefcase with the million dollar title belt. Um, they've really done a good job of making that thing matter. And if for those that want to disagree with me, let me ask you this. Could they have brought in the FTW title much better and used it much more effectively in AEW? I don't think there's anybody who would say no on that one. They've done a great job, um, and they deserve a lot of credit for that. We go back to Barrasso and Roberts. They uh, both predict Knight to win the ladder match. Um we got a plug for DraftKings, which makes me sick. Um, we see a bunch of people arriving. Basically, we set up the matches. Let's get into it, right? Um, we go to another interview that uh, Marcazzi conducted with Legato del Fantasma. So that's going to be another big deal. We get the uh, video package hosted by Todd Pettengill and Michael Hayes. Um, it's great. Um, winner take all. Legado del Fantasma versus the NXT Tag Team Champions MSK and the North American Champion Bronson Reed. A lot of great moments in this match. This is a very good opening match. They definitely maul everybody. And at the end of the day, the uh, double team blockbuster from MSK and the tsunami splash on Mendoza by Reed. So all is well. I'm glad they did it this way instead of splitting it up into two matches. I thought the pay-per-view was a decent length um, for a not as major pay-per-view. Um, great deal. The way he confronts Kyle O'Reilly. Tis what it is. Pa Todd Pentengill's backstage with a VHS tape of the 2017 May Young Classic to hype the Zia Lee versus Mercedes Martinez match. Um, they talk about how everything is digital, etc., etc. Mercedes Martinez against Zia Lee, another really solid, great match. Uh, I love the finish where M Martinez goes for the air raid crash. Lee fights free, hits that big spin kick to the face, and gets the pin. And then... Uh, Ying stares Martinez down. They brawl. All kinds of stuff happens afterwards. And Lee and Boa. Um, Vic says Mi Ying has risen. Um, man, it's bananas. It's nuts. Um, we're con continuing the uh, Mercedes Martinez stuff with them. And I'm all for it. I love it. Backstage promo from Tommaso Ciampa and Timothy Thatcher. Uh, they cut aggressive promos on the Grizzled Young Veterans to hype Tuesday's Tornado Rules tag team match. We get a video package about uh, everything that's led up to this ladder match with LA Knight and Cameron Grimes. I recommend you go find this match and watch it. I thought this match, the uh, women's title match, and then the uh, men's title match main event were really standout. This definitely worked. Um, this ladder match, I think it's one of those things where both guys come out way ahead. LA Knight technic technically wins, and he's the million dollar champion, but really Grimes with a phenomenal showing. Uh, we get a WWE shop segment with Todd Pettengill. Um, that's a lot of fun. I mean, just having Todd Pettengill repeatedly do stuff I thought was just really fun. That and the million dollar man being there, I, I really liked it. We cut backstage to Pete Dunne and a Karrion Cross brawling. And they're trying to NXT manager William Regal and security just trying to keep them apart. It is bedlam all night long. Get a video package. Then we get the NXT women's title match. Ember Moon, Raquel Gonzalez. Again, go out of your way to watch this match. It's really, really phenomenal. I really liked it. Uh, Ember Moon was in good form. Even the way they brought Shotzi back to uh, take out Dakota Kai to give a, sort of a one-on-one -on -one feel on the end without interference. But Raquel Gonzalez... Gets that one arm power bomb for the pin to rate Tane. Um, really good stuff. 
And then uh, Todd Penton goes back there with karate fighters. Dexter Loomis appears to play with him, but Loomis snatches Todd's fighter off of the base. And uh, Todd says Loomis wins. <laughs> it's ridiculous. They confirm the Great American Bash is going to be um, Tuesday night NXT on July 6th. Great. We get that main event. Again, go out of your way to see it. A really good showing by NXT, who tends to really deliver the goods on these pay-per-views and special events. And this is no exception. This match is really great. Uh, part of me thought, you know, only Adam Cole really matters in this thing, and then de facto Kyle O'Reilly because of his thing with Adam Cole. And that kind of turned out to be the case, if I'm being honest. They definitely had everybody shine, uh, but Karrion Cross locking in that choke on Kyle O'Reilly as he had his... Uh, uh, the leg lock on Adam Cole, cool finish, and at the end of the day, um, Karrion Cross retains in a very good match. What can I say? Good stuff, baby. This has been Stephen Platinum, your friend in wrestling.